GDS Lab is for the control and data acquisition of a whole range of laboratory test equipment. Whether running a simple odometer, a stress path system or a complete dynamic hollow cylinder system. The design of GDS Lab allows for complete flexibility not only in the tests that you can perform but also in the type of hardware that can be connected and the way in which it is connected to the PC. GDS Lab even allows for equipment from other manufacturers to be configured, thus allowing GDS Lab to form the software base for the upgrade of existing equipment. Here we can see the GDS Lab kernel has been started. Click here to begin signifies that we need to create a station before we can continue. Creating a station involves choosing an initialization file text file that specifies exactly what equipment we want connected to GDS Lab. For example, here, if I choose this file that I've made called STDTTSMC, this signifies a standard triaxial testing system using a motorized cell and a serial pad with three channels configured. When I go to the management, choose object display, I can see exactly the equipment as specified by that initialization file. The flexibility of GDS Lab means that if I have a GDS Lab driver for a device, I can set the, that device up within my station. For example, if I choose ADV TTS40, a GDS 40 kN advanced stress path system, if I then go to the object display, we see a completely different system setup. To highlight one of the real advantages of GDS Lab, I can create an STD TAS system which includes an ELE tri-test load frame. This shows exactly how we can also use equipment from other manufacturers just as easily as those from GDS. I will just go back now to the STD TTS station which includes the GDS motorized cell because that's the hardware I have connected to this PC at the moment. Now I go back to the object display from the management. Not only does the object display help us diagnose any system problems, it allows us to set up the devices for communication parameters and calibrations. By clicking on the actual device here, comms parameters may be set according to the device requirements. The eye icon represents all the transducers set up in a particular station. For example, if I click on the pore pressure transducer connected to the serial pad, I can see that it is connected to the serial pad channel 1. I can take a reading of this. On the advanced tab, we set up all of the appropriate parameters for that transducer. We can also set up the calibration for individual transducers. This is input on the calibration tab. I happen to know, for example, that the calibration factor for this pore pressure transducer is 17.34 kPa per millivolt. And the transducer full scale output, back on the advanced tab, is 199.4 millivolts. This sets the auto channel full scale to 200 millivolts. We want three decimal places, and the engineering units is, of course, kPa. I can then set this transducer to zero and go back and check the main reading is zero. I can then exit the transducer settings for the pore water pressure transducer in the knowledge that all of the settings have been saved. As well as reading all the transducers individually, we can select to read all the transducers together for the whole station. We can also set parameters by toggling to the control parameter. For example, if I want to set a cell pressure of 200 kPa, like so, I can then close the control parameter, go back to the readings and see that the cell pressure has changed to the set value of 200 kPa. Remember, the object display is not used as part of the test, but is a very nice section for setting up, checking and diagnosing the system.
We are now back to the main test program. Assuming we have all of the test equipment set up correctly and we know it is working, we can go to the test plan and set up a triaxial test. If I choose data save, we can then choose a data file. The GDS Lab project structure saves data in an intuitive format for use directly with the GDS Lab reports program. This program sucks the data up for immediate presentation to British standards on an Excel spreadsheet. For now, however, we will